Hello guys, welcome back. Another day, another chat GPT alternative. But this time it's really huge because the CTO and co-founder of Hogging Face tweeted just now that they are launching the first open source alternative to chat GPT naming Hogging Chat. So this is powered by Open Assistant's latest model. I have created a video about this earlier also. You can reference to that. The best open source chat model right now and Hogging Face interface. API. So as the as he says here, there some people said the closed API were winning, but we never give up the fight for open source AI. This is really good, and they have given the website also hf.co/chat. Let's go through this and let's explore. This is really huge news because if you don't know what Hogging Face is, Hogging Face is actually a platform where they say that AI community building the future. So you can build, train, deploy state-of-the-art models powered by the reference open source in machine learning, right? Why it is important? Because all the models out there are being deployed here. As you can see here, there are almost 186,000 models here and there are many data sets. There is space, documentations, all the things available here. So I can see where they are shifting because whenever some big language models are being deployed or are being used or released, Hogging Face can quickly incorporate that into their chat model. Now let's go and see how the chat model looks like. You can just click the link here. It takes us to the website hf.co. So here you can see this, the, the interface looks similar to chat GPT. On the left side here, there is Hogging Chat, new chat. By the way, we don't even need to log in to access this uh, chat all the things that is saved here on the left side as in chat GPT and there is theme light and of course dark theme there is a place where you can provide the feedback also this is really good because I see here that people are already providing feedback here you can have a discussion you can create a new discussion and all these different things and on the main they have said that okay hogging chat version zero so that is of course new versions will be released and the current model they have been using is open assistant OEA, SST, SFT, and 6 Lama, a 30 billion model. And you can ask the model. And by the way, the one good part here is that they provide all the information. Here is the model page. Here is the data set page. If you click the model page, it takes us to the model page, which they are using right now. And if you click this data set page, it points to the data set. As I said before, Hogging Face has all the models and data sets which are openly available for users to just go there and explore. This is really good. And there is also the Open Assistant website. It says the chat GPT alternative, right? So what I will do next is just go through both of these chat GPT as well as hogging chat side by side. And let's do some comparison. On the left side, you can see here is the hogging chat. And on the right side, there is chat GPT. First, let's start with the normal question. What is 2 plus 2 for both of these, right? So on the left side, it says that the answer to that question is that it is equals to 4. If you have any further questions, ask me, okay? And here on the chat GPT, it says 2 plus 2 equals to 4. Fair enough. And now the second question, is there a way to achieve 2 plus 2 equals to 5, right? So Hugging Face says that no, this statement 2 plus 2 is incorrect. Because the sum of the two numbers always results in an output less than or equals to, okay, something here. But the good part here is it says that if you are looking for some other options where 2 plus x can be 5, take x as greater than or equals to 3, such as with the equation 3 plus 2 equals to 5. So it is providing the reasoning for that also. And in the case of chart GPT, it says in standard arithmetic 2 plus 2 always equals to 4. However, and it is giving some kind of logic here that it can be also 5 but at last it says that what in general the statement 2 plus 2 equals to 5 is considered incorrect in standard arithmetic. So fair enough both of them provides their own kind of logic here. And now let's start a new thing that is just released 6 months ago what is Lang chain. So both of these actually cannot provide the correct answers. In chat GPT it says I'm sorry but I'm not familiar with the term Lang chain. But with the case of hogging chat, it is kind of hallucinating and it is providing some random answer here. So both of them does not know because this is just the current thing that is being released just six months before. So then the next question, as you can see here, I asked it, can you provide me five vegetables name that starts with C 
and has five characters. So in this case, actually, hogging chat fails here because as you can see here, there is carrot, cauliflower, and uh, collard greens, which is not five characters, right? But in the case of ChatGPT, it gets it right. And it also provides some kind of description for what kind of vegetable it is also here. So in this case, also ChatGPT wins. And the next question, what I asked is, what is six divided by three? And that is one question. And the follow-up question is add two on the result and display the answer. So here I asked with the hogging chat, first it fails or because it is just released today. There are many people using this chat, so it kind of has the timeout limits and so on. So first it doesn't provide anything, but second it says that I apologize if my previous response was unclear. In order to calculate six, you need to do something, something. But it's it thought that, okay, it provides some answer, but it didn't. But the answer is correct, of course. But in the case of chat GPT, it says, yeah, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And adding 2 to the result gives us 2 plus 2 equals to 4. That is kind of to the point answers from the chat GPT compared to the uh, hugging chat. Now, next, I ask, so what is the difference between Python and PySpark? This is the general question. Just provide me answer in two sentences. That is where I want to focus. And in this case, hugging chat actually fails because it is providing me in three sentences. But in chat GPT, it's provide me in two sentences. So it also remembers the first question and the follow-up question to that. And next question I asked is, where is the president of Finland? It gives both of them actually provides the same answer. So it is too big. The next thing, I also want to test the code. So here I say, explain the following code. And I provide some code from LangChain documentation. Both of them actually go step by steps and provides what each and every line of the code is doing. The answer is correct from both of this. Let's not go into this for now. The next question I ask is, what is the meaning of life? Describe for a 15 year old in just two sentences. Two sentence part is correct for both of this now. Both of these provides the similar answers in this case. So now I just ask, who are you to the chat, right? Chatbot. And it says, I am chat GPT language model developed by OpenAI. It actually gives, okay, what it is. But in case of hugging chat, my name is something, something. I don't know where it came from these numbers or names, but it is kind of hallucinating here and giving them some random answers. Okay, now the last answer, I just want to check if it remembers the history or the memory, right? So I asked to Hugging Chat, what was the first question I asked you in this thread? So it didn't actually get what I was asking for and it just provides a random answer here. But in case of Chat GPT, what was the first question I asked you in this thread? It says the first question that you ask me is what is 2 plus 2 and that is correct. One good part of hugging chat is that once you have the conversation, you can share this conversation with others. Although you are not logged in into the website, you can see here there is this share this conversation link. If you click that, it will show us the URL. Just copy this link. Okay, let me open incognito mode and it, yeah, it says, sorry, we can't find the page you are looking for. This would, I find that it is experiencing some kind of problems. It works sometimes and it does not work sometimes. But let's see, I hope they want to make it work because there is the functionality there. But this is good that they have this functionality of sharing your conversation with others. So you can go ahead and do many comparisons, but this is just a short comparison. And from this, I can see, of course, that GPT is providing good answers because it is trained on billions of parameters in compared to Open Assistant, which is fine-tuned on top of Llama model. But the way Hugging Face is taking this into the next level, I find it interesting and it would be great to see what Hugging Face will do when big models appear. Let's see what happens in the future. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.